candidates from all parties have been pounding the pavements on their campaign trail to try and get you to vote for them. And now the vote is being counted here behind me at Sophia Gardens and in just a few hours time we'll find out who the successful AMs will be. The first to be announced was for Cardiff South and Panath with Vaughan Gething. <laughs> He said the trust he'd built in the assembly already helped him regain the vote. I certainly think it's been helpful that I've been standing for re-election because I had to do a lot of work last time around to introduce myself to the public. And that was really about I'm not just reminding them who I am but actually explaining what I've done and why I've done that. Uh, but lots more doors, not this time, where people recognised my face or my name. Uh, and that's broadly been helpful. And that in itself, in a difficult role in government, where we've had to make uh, difficult choices at a variety of times, I think it's been really positive, but it does tell us again about the really important message of making sure that we listen to our public and we also talk to them as well. So there are some important lessons for, for whatever the shape of the next government about what we do, how we do our business and uh, how we repay and retain the faith of communities here in Cardiff, South and Panath. So those are the views of Vaughan Gething, the first person to be returned as an AM to Cardiff and it wasn't long before the next result was in. Next up was Jenny Rathbone for Cardiff Central. It is, has been a privilege to serve Cardiff Central for the last five years and it will be a great privilege to continue to do so. I feel um, very excited and relieved and very pleased that I'm going to be able to continue doing some of the work I've been doing for the last five years. And, um, is it because you've been doing it for these five years you think people have built a trust in you or what is it you bring to the party? I think there's a combination of things. I think we, we, we had very clear publications, we were very clear about what our um, pledges were we we delivered on our pledges the last in the last five years and we will deliver on our pledges in the current in the, the current five years. So I think that was uh, a much better campaign than just simply dissing people, and um, that's why I think in the end. Um, I, I managed to win. And at 7am, one of the closest results in a bit of a shock win, Labour's Julie Morgan beat Tories Jane Cowan for Cardiff North. I never expect to win, really, and I'm just very pleased, very pleased at the size of the turnout, which so far I think is one of the highest in Wales. So, so many of uh, my constituents in Cardiff North took part, so I think that's absolutely wonderful. Um, and of course, I'm pleased at the size of the majority, which again, I didn't expect. So it's a great boost and... Um, a great privilege and I'm looking forward to um, working with everyone in the future. And lastly for Cardiff West, another Labour stronghold in Mark Drakeford holding the seat. So those are the AMs for all areas of Cardiff. They'll now serve for another five years. This is Laura Allen from Sophia Gardens for Cardiff News.